here we are at the end of chapter 8 on um, rational functions. So we've simplified them, we've added them, subtracted them, multiplied, divide them. We talked about inverse variation. We've graphed them. Um, we talked about reciprocal functions. So now we need to solve it. So our objectives are going to be answering the question, how do we add or subtract? Sorry, these are the wrong ones. Give me just a second to fix that. All right, sorry about that. So how can we combine the properties of rational functions to solve rational equations? So those things that we learned how to do in this chapter, we're going to um, put them to use. We're going to solve rational equations and use rational equations to solve problems. So here's your vocab. You only have one word. A rational equation contains at least one rational expression. So um, if you look at this one, the one on the left is a rational equation because it has x variable in the numerator and the denominator and an equal sign. The one on the right, even though it has fractions in it, it's not a rational equation because there's no x values in the numerator or the denominator. Uh, okay. So solving a rational equation. Here we have this problem. Um, x divided by x minus 3 plus x divided by x plus 3 equals 2 divided by x squared minus 9. Okay, just like we did in the other lessons, um, I'm just going to do a quick review to see if you remember how to solve this. So what if we had x over 2 um, plus 2x over 3 equals 6? What we could do is we could get a common denominator between the 2 and the 3 and then get like terms and then solve. Or, how many of you like working with fractions? Most people don't. What we could do is we could clear the denominator. So we can look and see what's the smallest number or the least common multiple that all of our denominators go into. The answer is 6. So if we take and we multiply both sides of our equation by 6, then we can reduce. So we're going to distribute the 6 here and here. So we get 6x over 2 plus 12x over 3 equals 36. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3x, 12 divided by 3 is 4x equals 36. And then you can just add like regular problem. There's no more fractions. We're going to apply the same principle to our rational functions. So we need to get our um, least common multiple. So what that means is we're going to have to factor everything in the denominator at any point um, and then see what we can do about um, getting rid of all of the denominators. So x squared minus 9 factors into x plus 3 and x minus 3. And here over on the left we have x plus 3 and x minus 3 as our factors. So x plus 3, x minus 3 is what we're going to multiply both sides by. So x plus 3, x minus 3, times everything on the left side, x over x minus 3, plus x over x plus 3, equals 2 over x plus 3, x minus 3, times x plus 3, x minus 3. So I'm just going to leave this right here and just put a little times right there. Okay, so now if we were to distribute and multiply all this through here and here, what do you notice is going to uh, happen? We're going to have a lot of things cancel. So these are going to cancel here. So we just have two left over here. Um, the one over here, the x minus 3s are going to cancel. So we just have x times or x plus 3. And then with this one, x plus 3s will cancel. So we have plus x times x minus 3. Now we just have to distribute. So we get x squared plus 3x plus x squared minus 3x equals 2. Combine our like terms. 2x squared equals 2. Now just solve. x squared equals 1. x equals 1 and negative 1. So not too difficult once you get to the clearing the fractions part. So find your least common multiple, distribute through to everything, clear your denominators, your life is going to be a lot easier. Alright, so there you go, there's that one again. 
Okay, why don't you go ahead and do this one. Um, I'll help you out with your denominator. You have x plus 1, x plus 4, x plus 4. So what you're going to do is multiply this side times x plus 1, x plus 4. And multiply this side times x plus 1, x plus 4. Start canceling what you can. Make sure you distribute this whole quantity through to both parts on the inside. Okay, you can also solve these by using a graphing calculator. So what are the solutions of the rational equations using a graphing calculator? So here's my problem. So what you want to do is you want to enter these as two separate equations. So each part of the um, equal sign is one equation. So you're going to put this one into y1. Now be very careful about how you put this in your calculator. y2 is going to be really easy because it's just so when you put this in your calculator, you're going to want to make um, a 2 divided by parenthesis x plus 2 and parenthesis plus x divided by parenthesis x minus 2 parenthesis. Okay, so this goes into your y1. This one goes into your y2. Go ahead and graph those. Then you're going to go to the intersect. So second calc intersect, find where they cross. All right, did you put those into your calculator? You should have, okay. So your solution is x equals zero. So go ahead and check that. It works, we're awesome. Okay, there's another one for you to try. If it's gonna show up. Is it gonna show up? Oh, hey, look, it might help if I do that. Oh, there's the other one for you to try. And that's it. Um, I hope you enjoy the lesson.